I think the world should be happy that I'm not the one writing the software. Um, back then, that was 19... 92, 93. It, is not, it was not as complex as it is today. And it was a lot about writing procedures and just knowing the different keywords and then writing other procedures and so on and so forth. It was a lot easier than it is today. Today is so specialized uh, to be a good IT developer. I always laugh when we get uh, applicants in, right, and, and if you look at the resume and every single programming language that was ever invented is on the resume. Because it's just not possible. A good, a really good software developer knows one language. Max two. Because it is so complex today. And to be really good at what you what you know, you can only do one thing. Um, um, but back then, it was a lot easier. So, so yes, I did some software development, but, but haven't done that for know, 15 years. And I think we should all be happy about that. <laughs> right. Okay, um, the reason we requested this interview is uh, the fact that you and your company run very much a virtual office. You put out some YouTube videos where you encourage people to start using Skype and other software to facilitate their business, particularly their customer contact, uh, make it easy and, and, and avoid some unnecessary redundancy. Yes. Uh, I was wondering if you could mention I mean, which programs you use and which functionalities uh, particularly important to you in or and your company? Mm, sure. Obviously communication it's is, is Skype. Mm -hmm. It's a given. Um, then we use a software called Pamela, which records Skype conversations. We do that so that it allows us to go back and check, okay, we spoke to the client, we have one hour meeting, you speak to a client one hour, you cannot remember everything and you sure as hell don't get everything written down. It's nice to be able to call up an MP three four, whatever it's called. And then, and then listen to what was agreed to and what did you talk about. Then we, uh, well, like anyone else, use emails. I personally hate emails because you get too many of them and you get CC and all kind of crap that is none of your business. Uh, I wish they would remove CC from, from Outlook. <laughs> um, uh, uh, but of course we use email like anyone else. Then we use, uh, I use something called Mind Manager mm -hmm. to, to, you know, when you do a mind map, to do a mind map to, to figure out things when we have problems. We, I use that a lot. And then for, for, for all the management of our projects, we use a software application we have, we have developed ourselves which allows us to track time on all the individual tasks that a person work on in a given day and schedule what people have to do. And that allows us to give exact uh, post calculations and is then hooked up with our, with our accounting and invoicing so that we <coughs> Try to automate everything and try to have as little human interaction as, as, as possible. First of all, it goes faster. Secondly, a computer doesn't get sick. Well, but it, it can get a virus, but, but normally it doesn't. And, 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 and thirdly, it doesn't make mistakes. What's working it is, is accurate. So, so um, that's, that's how we do it. All right. And is this is a program, a product of yours, or something you, you sell, something that you can. It will be something we are selling. Uh -huh. We are uh, 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 we developed this for three years. Of course, agile has been standing still several times, but but it's it's, it's thoroughly tested by now. It, it 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 has all the features that we know are necessary in order to run a shop like ours. It's like let's say you can do ten thousand mistakes, a hundred thousand mistakes. Uh -huh. uh, making offshore development, well, you probably made 99,999 of these mistakes. And we try to, each time we made a mistake, to get that into the software so that that mistake cannot be done or can be avoided or, or, or if it happens, the damage will be less. So there's a lot of experience in the software. But it's not the software, no, it's also the mentality. Uh -huh. It's a mindset. For instance, uh, 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 one thing that, 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 that I have, have learned the hard way is you cannot run an IT company without time tracking, period. You need to know how much time you spent on the different tasks. Now, where I'm in my end of the world, it's not a problem. People don't have a problem with that. I could maybe see that in your end of the world that people don't want to have their time tracked because it obviously gives man management some tools to check and productivity and, and other subjects which can be um, sensitive. But 
without that, you cannot run a professional organization because you don't know how much time you spend on things. You don't know how much it costs. You cannot make post calculations to see if you're making this money, right? If you if you if you're going to run a, a a company, any company today, you need to make a post calculation so that you know where do I make my money, and then get away from the product where you don't. Yeah. You know, you may go around saying, oh, I, I earn all my money on on product X Y Z, right? But a post calculation can show you that that's not where you make your money. You make your money on A B C. So so and 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 without time tracking. Every single minute you can do it. In, in our company, everything is time tracked. So when a person goes in, time tracking starts on, on what we call non-project tasks. Uh -huh. uh, and when it starts working on the project, time tracking starts on that project, on that task. That allows us to know 100% what a person does in a day and, and to measure productivity and, and, and other things. And that's just necessary to stay to, to stay compatible. Uh, competitive. Do you know? Do you know of any other companies, any of your competitors, on other businesses that, well, employ the same features? Uh, I'm sure that. I'm sure that. I'm sure yeah. that. I don't know of any, but I'm sure that. All right. Um, one of the things we also wanted to discuss is some of the, uh, well, security and legal aspects that can come from uh, having, you know, your main customer contact through through Skype. In one of the YouTube videos you put out, you uh, talked about how Pamela can be used, and if you record and store everything, uh, every single customer contact, uh, to validate uh, and, and solve the uh, disagreement that may arise when uh, the bill has to be paid. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, well, looking ahead, I mean, what are some of the possibilities for developing this kind of, you know? virtual presence business further? 